Public sector is under enormous pressure from a number of angles. Clearly, the financial pressures are, are, are the big one. The need to change operating models, the need to change what we do and how we do it in order to be much more efficient. Things like Internet of Things and big data will allow us in the public sector um, to use information in a much more intelligent way, intervening more appropriately when necessary, managing demand, being able to take better decisions faster, so it will give a precision about how we deliver services. Within our public service organisations, using some of these new tools, using information and data uh, in a more appropriate way will allow us to be more productive, it will allow us to operate with fewer overheads, people, buildings, process, uh, and that will drive um, efficiency. One of my worries and fears about big data is that we will collect mountains of data and we will either not be able to use it because we're not allowed to or we won't be able to use it because we don't know how to. There's too much. We don't know how to process it and get sensible intelligence. So that information architecture, that information science piece is really important I think for the future. I think if we're going to really exploit the technologies that are available today there's something around skilling our senior professionals and managers, the people that are leading services, as to how they can engage and use these tools in the way that they are designing the next generation of services. And it's also for the public. They've got to be able to see that they're going to get value out of it. It's got to be easier and better to do it that way for them. They've also got to trust us. Disciplines like master data management, the way that you capture, collect, maintain, improve the quality of and appropriately share and reuse data is a real skill. And we need to ensure that that works across the different public service disciplines. Uh, and we need to ensure that we do it in such a way that uh, has got an ongoing sustainable basis that will allow us to identify problems and anomalies in data and fix those and also share where it is appropriate to share. And this is a really important topic that we need to get right. Sometimes we don't explain the message. We don't explain why we want to capture data about individuals and the benefit that we will give to the public. So there's a really important job for government, I think, in communicating why technology is going to have such an important part to play in the future of public service provision.